Touring with fashion icon Sue Wong in her mansion, one can't help but wonder about all the Hollywood stars that had once lived here. The home was built in the 1920s, and it's been owned by a who's who of Hollywood royalty: Norma Talmadge, Howard Hughes, Bela Lugosi, Jimi Hendrix, and Johnny Depp, to name a few. Every room in the home has some wonderful historical story behind it, from the entranceway to the beautifully appointed guest rooms. And though it's easy to feel that this is a museum, Miss Wong makes one feel right at home. 10,000 square feet can be a little overwhelming, but Su Wong does have a favorite spot in the house. Well, I just really see the entire place as a work of art. I would say if I had to really choose. I think this room is very grand. I had a real estate agent friend walk into this living room, and he said, "This has to be one of five most amazing, incredible living rooms in all of Hollywood and in all of L.A." So, if I had to choose another intimate spot, I would say the Jimi Hendrix room, which I really created a really beautiful Moroccan sitting room. It's a banquet sitting room, so that's where I have、uh, a gathering for intimate friends when they come to visit. It's really a nice little conversation spot. How do you bring your own fashion instinct to the style of this home? Well, I really feel that the cedars and the Su Wong style. Which is really vintage, romantic,、uh, very feminine, rich, opulent is really a total synonymous match. In other words, the house and mistress are a perfect match, and also it serves as the perfect backdrop for my clothing. And quite frequently, I have my photo shoots here. Su Wang was born in China and made her way to the United States as a child. She started sewing her own clothes when she was nine years old. By the time she was in her mid twenties, she had achieved her dream. Now a household name, her recent spring summer collection called Fairies and Sirens was a stunning mix of embroidered silk, layered lace, and a bounty of beadwork in designs. What inspired your spring summer collection, Fairies and Sirens? There are two aspects to. Feminine nature, the fairy is really, you know, when we really go towards the light, and maybe we play our Cinderella roles, and then there's the wicked witch, you know, there's there's the wicked queen in Snow White, who is much more complex, and she is more layered, but she was totally seductive and beautiful. So I think I tried to really play those two roles against each other, and I think you really saw that at my fashion show, which was very, very provocative and very、uh, interesting. Besides creating stunning dresses that recall a bygone era and bring romance and glamour to women everywhere, Su Wang's sense of style, of feminism, and sensuality never fails to raise the bar for all the other designers, and never fails to deliver to women all over the world. Does your Asian background ever influence your collections? I would describe myself as a true hybrid between the East and the West. I really am a true bridge between both worlds. While being Western, I grew up here. However, I retain 5,000 years of DNA memory and recall of my Chinese and Asian heritage. I'm very proud to be Chinese. I'm really proud of the teachings that my parents had imparted upon me to really be a decent human being, to really have integrity, to really live in truth, and that is a very Asian sort of thing. So I'm very proud of all of that. How do you understand modern women in China now? I would like to really create this iconic brand for China, being a daughter of China, having come from. China and you know having those Chinese roots, but really coming to the West, immigrating to the West, having grown up here, and being self-made and successful in the West, I would like to really bring some of that knowledge and some of that beauty that I have collected along the way and capable of imparting to Chinese women everywhere. I would like to really share that with Chinese women and empower them as well. 
Since Su Wang designs about 1,500 garments a year, making every moment count isn't a choice, it's a necessity. She's involved in every aspect of her business, from the designs to sales to making deals with high-end department stores, all on an average of four to five hours of sleep a night. Can you give us some everyday fashion tips? What are some Su Wang do's and don'ts for everyday fashion? I would say with fashion as in everything in life, number one, be true to yourself. You must really find your own style and your own sensibilities and not to really try to become something that you're not. So we all have to be comfortable in our own skin and channel that divine feminine. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story of beauty, magic, and transformation. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure.